Your dog's coughing. He or she may have kennel cough. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm giving you five updated new remedies. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up here to subscribe to my channel. And then when you click the link further in the box below and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free book on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. Okay you guys, do you remember this? This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be discussing kennel cough and actually show you what it sounds like. As far as what kennel cough sounds like, it sounds like a real productive cough that will happen pretty much anytime your dog is excited, they're moving, they'll get up and it happens acutely or all of a sudden where they've been fine the day before and then they just start to cough and it sounds like they're trying to cough or bring something up. So we'll just show you on Roxy here. Come here Roxy. <laughs> But, The other name for it is infectious tracheobronchitis, just meaning it's really easily passed from dog to dog. So it could be that little Tula here coughs. <coughs> this is actually my bacterial <laughs> viral particle sprayer thingy. And what unsuspecting critter has come to visit the house at the same time? Her little friend has been coughing, spewing mil millions of viral or bacterial particles. The pipster, super easy to get infected. So if you've tried some of those remedies I've suggested, they've yet to work, here are some five new ones to consider. The first remedy is honey, lemon, and some warm water. So what I'm gonna have you do is about a teaspoon of honey for about 10 pounds of body weight. That can easily be given two to three times a day. So let's do a sample teaspoon here. And I prefer the dark honey. So this is dark, relatively local, unpasteurized honey. We know it's gonna have some of the better medicinal qualities potentially help deal with, soothe that throat, and at the same time, help kill that bacteria and or the virus that's causing the kennel cough in the first place. So one teaspoon of honey, and I'm gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon. I've got some fresh lemon. So this is about a quarter of a teaspoon. We're gonna mix that in, and I'm gonna also add an equivalent amount, it's about a teaspoon of some warm water, maybe four of these little quarter teaspoons. Moment of truth, let's see if Pippi will consume this. Our yummy lemon and honey mixture. Pretty sure you can consider using a syringe if your dog isn't open to it. I think Pippi will just consume it straight, but let's just try it. So it's diluted with water, a little easier to, to suck into the syringe. Okay, Pippi, mm, here we go. Oh my God, Pippi. <laughs> Pippi potentially would even eat the syringe. No. Okay, and I don't advise that. <laughs> so we got the honey and the lemon. Isn't that good? Mmm, Pippi. Mmm, I think I'll have some after. I don't even have a cough. <sighs> what else could be in your kitchen that could be of use for a coughing dog? This. Coconut oil has both antibacterial as well as antiviral properties, as well as potentially being very soothing for the throat for a coughing dog. So an easy thing is pick yourself up some organic coconut oil, um, available everywhere, which we have here. It's got a pile of potential veterinary uses, so you should all have some on hand. Um, you're looking at doses of about a half a teaspoon per 10 pounds, and once again, two to three times a day. Oops, shoot. And I was gonna use my teaspoon, which I just accidentally broke the plastic bit. Okay, 
Maybe avoid plastic teaspoons. The coconut oil is just super hard because it's so freaking cold here. I'll show you the snow later so you guys actually appreciate it. I keep turning the heat down. So here's my approximate about teaspoon, which would be about two of this dose. And as you can see, she's happily going to consume it. I don't need to do anything. I just like feed it to her. Mmm, Tula. Mmm. Most dogs love coconut oil is what I'm find, finding. What is number three on our list? Oh, something else yummy you're going to like. Elderberry is a North American plant. It has a pile of research behind it uh, being beneficial for colds along with flus. I'll put a link to some of those studies below. Um, so of all the, you know, the different plant products I'm really keen on when we're dealing with respiratory infections. And kennel cough, this is like right up there as being you know, the, the top of the list. So here's the, here's the elderberry syrup, elderberry. So it's primary the berries, um, and secondary some of the flower. Third, it also has uh, an ingredient found in honey or called propolis. So which is also antibacterial. So when we're looking at doses of the elderberry, it's about, once again, it's about a half a teaspoon uh, per 10 pounds of body weight, uh, twice daily. Wait, 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 Pippi. Yes, some for you and then some for me. Okay, oh no, ah, no, elderberry not in the right spots. Okay, I we saw that. Thank God we have Pippi, so they're gonna clear up. It's gonna look like a horror show. God, look at that side of the island exam table. Let's take two on the elderberry to Pippi demonstration. Okay, Pippi, just... God. Ew. You can elderberry serve as easy to feed. God. It's a pleasure to treat you guys for your practice YouTube kennel cough. Mmm, Pippi. What do you think of that? Oh, it's so good. Tula, what else could we consider using? Nothing else is working. You're like, ah. My dog's still coughing. Pretty sure it's kennel cough based on what I saw. There must be something else that I can easily give. Check it out. Do what is it? Do, 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 do. Ta da! My supplement, Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula, it contains colostrum in levels that could potentially be beneficial in helping your dog deal with this viral and or bacterial infection causing the coughing in the first place. Um, it's got to be the advanced because I'm going to have it's got the higher level of colostrum in it. It also is secondary, oh, see, it's all orangey. It's got secondary 95% curcumin, which is an anti inflammatory. So, symptomatically, may also give your dog some good symptomatic relief. I'll put a link below so you guys can see more about the supplement for those of you who are interested. Pippi has something there that she's checking out to really help your dog who is coughing with kennel cough. So this here is licorice root tincture. Um, historically, it's been used for hundreds of years um, for people for coughing, as well as for our dogs. Many um, pet owners, some of the holistic veterinarians are found it to be very helpful for guys that have kennel cough. Not only is it symptomatically taking away some of the inflammation, secondarily, it's also got Research showing it to be both antibacterial as well as having antiviral properties. So it makes sense. It could also be really beneficial. When we're looking at doses, we're looking at about a half a mil of the tincture, which would take you to about, let's show them Pippi. So take you to about there. But a half a mil of the tincture for 20 pounds of body weight. So Pippi's going to get about a full mil. And that could be given twice daily. It is a bit bitter tasting. It's going to be a lot easier if you actually mix it in with the honey. So that first remedy we talked about. So I'm going to show you here. Let's give, I'll put a little drop on the ground here. See if Pippi will take that. Look at that, Pippi. Mm. Uh, and no, she won't. And you guys know Pippi eats everything. No, she does. Okay. Prove me wrong. But watch what happens when I mix it into the honey. Mmm. Some licorice root, mmm, bit of honey. What do you think, Pippi? Oh, great. Pippi's not gonna cough for years now. That was all those remedies. <laughs> Yummy, Pippi. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Entry Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click up here to subscribe to my channel. 
When you click the link further in the box below and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free book on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. Third, feel free to leave your questions, your comments, your feedback. I love to hear it. Give me great suggestions for future videos. That's where this one came from.